Hi, welcome to March favorites. We have finished with March already. It's kind of gone fast and it's kind of gone slow. <clears throat> anyway, let's get to the things I have been loving using and just can't quite put down this month. And stay tuned for the giveaway because every month I do have one and you have to watch and see which item it's going to be. So anyway, let's get going. It's March favorites time. Okay, the very first thing I wanted to mention before I mess it up and can, I can reapply is if you were um, interested in the Hermes lipstick that I showed in a few vi videos past, they flew off the shelves so, so fast. Don't know when they're getting them back, but if you were lucky enough to get one, if you wanted one and you got the beige Kalahari color, which is what I got, I love it. I'm wearing it now and I have found that if you do want to wear a lip liner with it, I found the perfect one though. It's by MAC. Let me show you. This is subculture. I'm just going to do a little line of subculture right there for you to see. And let me show you what it looks like next to the beige Kalahari of the Hermes lipstick. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect for it. Up here is the beige Kalahari. There's the liner. I'm wearing it now. It just, I've got a mirror over here. It just kind of blends absolutely perfectly. I'm looking in the monitor. <laughs> it goes so well with it. Mm. Okay, this lipstick. Yes, it's crazy expensive. So forth, so on. Yeah, blah, blah. We know that. Um, if you're not interested, you're not interested. And that's absolutely fine and understandable. However, I will say this is one of my favorite formulas ever. You put it on, you don't even feel like you have anything on. Um, it's It's got enough slip to it that it's not drying or feels uncomfortable. You don't feel like you need to add anything moisturizing on top. And it lasts and it lasts and it lasts and it lasts. And I'm absolutely amazed by how long it lasts. So there's that. I wanted to share that this is the perfect, in my opinion, that I could find. This is the perfect liner for it. And I'm really, really loving the Beige Kalahari. Highly recommend that one. It's March. We had one sunny day and I got out and cleaned out my birdhouse, which by the way, you know, I'm very excited that I finally kind of did that. Um, and I am getting outside in the sun and the moment, I'm like, we're talking the moment I get out in the sun and the sun hits my face, all my freckles like pop. It's weird. They, they pop out like crazy and super dark. It's like that very first sun that I get makes this incredibly, I mean, it's crazy looking. It's different than it looks any other time of the year. All of a sudden they just pop. Anyway, I am very aware of wearing sunscreen. Many of my face products already have sunscreen in them, but this is something that I have used before and I bought a new bottle of it and I wanted to share with you. I love Josie Moran products, as you know. Um, they are absolutely wonderful with the argan oil and so forth. I bathe my face in my decollete in it all the time. And this is the Josie Moran Argon Daily Moisturizer with SPF 47. I think that's really cool. This is the Protect and Perfect. So you're protecting from the sun with the SPF 47, which by the way, it's not a chemical sunscreen. It is a physical sunscreen and it has a bit of a tint to it. Now this tint works on any single color you got. It looks kind of a beigey tan, but it doesn't even matter. I mean, the darkest of dark skin tones, it still somehow blends in. It doesn't look, you know, like this color at all, but it just kind of gives an extra little oomph of something to your skin and it protects it. You can see where it went a little bit as you're putting it on and then it just blends in with whatever color your skin is. That's the most fascinating thing. I have seen this on very dark skinned women and it is very, very good that way. And it feels so good and it just blends right into your skin. It feels so moisturizing and it is, and it protects. So I really highly recommend this. I think it's a great way to start the whole process of getting your face ready for the day, especially if you're going to head outside. And every chance I get, I will be. So yes, I'm glad I got the big bottle of this. And as always, I will link everything down below so you can take a look if you wish. You know how I've talked about Skylar perfumes and their lotions and their body wash and their body <laughs> lotions and things? I love them. Well, they also have a deodorant now. 
and it comes in two scents. I got the Capri or Capri and I thought I'd give it a try. It's a refreshing deodorant with green tea and it's free of aluminum and baking soda. And I've tried all those um, other natural ones, you know, the ones that everyone talks about all the time. They're very gritty. They're like sandpaper going on. I don't like that. It just, it's, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, but I used them, I bought them, I used them up and I never again, but I still was looking for something without the aluminum and so forth. So I did find that they are now making deodorant at Skylar and this is one of my very favorite scents. It's the Capri. Oh my gosh, it's just so refreshing is the best thing it says. It says refreshing deodorant. It is basically, they describe it as sparkling citrus and sweet and that's exactly what, it just smells so fresh. Mm, I really, really like it. And it's just absolutely wonderful. This is a deodorant and I have been in situations where I feel like if I, if I didn't have anything on, I might've smelled and this I did not. So I do believe it works very, very well as a deodorant. It is not an antiperspirant, but again, I've been in kind of a sweaty situation where I thought I normally would have sweat. I didn't. So um, anyway, if you're looking for an aluminum free deodorant, this, and I believe it's the is the coral. I think coral is the other scent available from Skylar. I love them. And I have a coupon code down below for anything from Skylar too. So check them out if you're interested. I love their stuff. Good stuff. Okay. This is interesting. <laughs> Let me show you my new favorite bras. Okay. So <laughs> we're all kind of hanging around the house. Not all, but most of us are, are hanging around the house a lot more than we used to. And you know, there you have that. So I have been on the hunt and on the search for a comfy around the house, you know, loungewear kind of a bra. And, you know, I've been searching and searching, trying different things and so forth. Well, I think I found the one to end all wonderful loungewear bras. Now it does offer enough support and enough lift depending on which style you choose. It can lift you an inch, um, which is fantastic considering it is the most lightweight. You don't even feel like you have it on. It is amazing and I don't want to take it off. Seriously, it's so good. I have one on right now and I ordered more because they are that good. Um, it's this, I mean, this is awfully, this is weird. Okay, but it's this very, you know, very light material and it just feels so, so good. They come in many, many colors, skin tone colors as well as, you know, other colors. And it's just so, I mean, it's like nothing. It's absolutely like nothing, but yet it's supportive and there's no show because there is a little light padding there. It's wonderful. So anyway, I placed another order. I saw they were having, I think it was 25% off, 20% off, something to that effect. I'm like, yes, I want to, I want to grab at least another one or two. So I grabbed another one of the one I have on right. Okay. This is the one that's identical to the one that I'm wearing right now. I wanted another one so badly. I got the V neck. I got where it's a regular back. Um, there's no clasp. You just slip it on over your head and it doesn't do that thing where it all rolls up and then you're having to try to, you know, and it doesn't do that, which is brilliant. I don't know how that is, but it just doesn't. It's this very, very, oh, silky, soft, stretchy material. Amazing. These are slightly lightly padded and this does remove. It does remove for washing. It doesn't get bunched up. That was another thing. I can't stand it when those things get bunched up. They're easy to remove and put back in. It's just so, so comfortable. So, so amazing. So I had to get another one of those when they got on sale. And then I thought I'd try this one because there are um, tops in the summer that I wear a lot that have, uh, they're sleeveless, but the, they kind of are cut so that it almost cuts in here a little bit. And I kind of want something that my bra straps aren't sticking out on the sides all the time. They kind of go in. And the best way to do that is to get a racer back style. And it's got this mesh on the back which will make it even more breathable in the summer. So I'm excited about that. And I just got my skin tone. That way I didn't have to worry about anything. But like I said, they come in other different skin tones and other colors, love them. And I threw in a, pant a pair of panties too. We're not gonna bring those out and show them, okay? Okay, all right then, yeah. I just truly, truly love the darn thing and I don't wanna take it off. So I wanted to make sure you were aware of those in case you're interested and you're looking for one of those kind of things too. There's that. Another thing you know about me, if you've been with me any time at all, is I absolutely love Barefoot Dreams. I have so many Barefoot Dreams items. I even have a sweater for my grand dog um, and a hat. So yes, I love Barefoot Dreams. And I have a pink one of this um, that's in the washer. I'd show it to you too, but it's like a light pinkish color. It's beautiful. Um, but I also got the white. And this is the Barefoot Dreams that's in the ultra, what is it called? Ultra Cozy Chic 
No, it's called Cozy Chic Ultra Light. So there's the Cozy Chic Light that I have some sweaters in. There's a regular Cozy Chic that's thicker and heavier. And then this is the Ultra Light. And it still gives you that amazing, wonderful um, Barefoot Dreams feel. It's just definitely lighter. You know, it's a little bit, it's just thinner, lighter, and is perfect for fall, which is why I've been wearing the heck, especially out of the pinkish one. Um, this also, I think, as white would be so cute in the summer, in the evenings, when you're wearing shorts or whatever, and a tank top, let's say, and then you, it gets a little chillier and you throw this on, it would go with anything. By the way, it's a pullover sweater, which is different for Barefoot Dreams. It's basically a crew neck pullover sweater, long sleeves. It has these, you know, the kangaroo pocket kind of a thing here. And like I say, it's lightweight, it's comfortable. I got one size larger than my normal size. Um, and I think it fits well. So if you do get this, I would go up a size or at least carefully look at the sizing information depending on how you want it to fit. For me, I want this to be kind of big, you know, kind of just, just easy to throw on over anything and so forth. So that's why I did that too. I feel they run a tiny bit smaller than your average size for Barefoot Dreams. So just keep that in mind. But I love them and they come in many different colors. They come in some stripes, they're cute. Just a couple more things. As you know, you may not, I am gluten-free for the most part. I cheat occasionally, um, but for about two years straight, I did not cheat once because I was working on a medical issue to see how much the gluten affected me. So basically, I avoid gluten altogether and I usually bake almost always with gluten-free flour. And I've had people ask me what gluten-free flour I use. Well, I've tried, I think about every single kind. I've even mixed my own. I've, you know, done whole xanthan gum and almond and the, you know, and this is still one of the best mixes I've ever found. And it's a small company. It's basically, I think a couple women and their husbands and kids kind of get together and, and package it up, but it is in a very, <laughs> very nice little facility that they have. But it's, I love supporting small businesses like that. And this stuff is great. You can get it on Amazon sometimes right now. I believe they're out on their regular website, um, which I will link that below too. But I did find this on Amazon. I just grabbed another one. I think there are only about 10 more left. So go ahead and pause and grab it. Um, but it is the Better Batter All-Purpose Flour Mix. This is a five pound container and you use it cup for cup. If your recipe calls for two cups of flour, you do two cups of this flour. So it's easy, all your recipes, just pretend like this is regular flour and you don't have the gluten involved. So this is fantastic. It works for absolutely everything for me and it works great, especially for banana bread. You will never know that you are using gluten-free flour when you make banana bread with this flour. So yeah, had to share that because it's highly important. And flour is kind of hard to come by right now, especially gluten-free, so yeah. Another thing, we're all washing our hands over and over and over and over and over. And it's crazy. Have you seen that video where the guy takes, he has the white gloves on and he takes a little bit of like black, like it's like tar, but it's like this black paint or whatever. And he shows, you know, if you wash your hands like this and then the black is all over where the white, you know, all over the white gloves and where, you know, that would hit. And then if you do this and this, it shows what part of your hands. So until the hands are completely covered in the black paint, you know that it, you have to use those maneuvers to get every single bit of your hands clean. Anyway, it's fantastic. If I can remember, I'll try to link that, link that down below, but it's fascinating to watch. So and it'd be great for kids to learn too. Anyway, we're all washing our hands so, so much more than we ever did before. And I feel like I was a big hand washer before this, but yeah. Anyway, my hands are ready to dry up and fall off. Um, I especially have problem cuticles. They get really dry very easily. So this stuff has been amazing. I saw this in, in my grocery store and I thought, what? I never heard of it before, but it's fantastic. It's a shielding lotion, basically. It's a second skin for hands and body. It's a shielding lotion. It's unparalleled relief for dry, cracked, and irritated skin. It's non-greasy, fast absorbing, lasts through multiple washings, and it really does. So what I do, it's called gloves in a bottle. It uh, radically outperforms moisturizers and protective creams because it has this barrier thing. It just like kind of locks in all the, you know, get your hands all moisturized, everything's all good. And then I let that completely soak in once I've moisturized. This has moisturizer in it also. Then I put this on, let that completely soak in and it like, it forms a shield <laughs> over, you know what I mean? But it doesn't feel like it. You don't feel greasy or weird or anything. It just feels totally normal. But as you wash your hands, like two, three, four, five more times, you don't feel like that immediate need to, you know, re-moisturize like crazy because you're so dry. Anyway, gloves in a bottle, 
Cannot recommend it more. I found a larger tube of this or bottle thing of this too. I'm definitely going to try to find and grab it because I'm going through this like hotcakes. So anyway, there's that. Jump on it if you have a dry hand situation with all the washing. By the way, still love my Yeti, always will. Now let's talk about the giveaway item. So exciting. I've been using and using and using this. I really wanted to make sure that it worked. I love the idea behind it. So then I need to decide, okay, does it actually work? And is this a shampoo that I would use? It's a shampoo and conditioner set, okay? Well, it's not a set. I put it together as a set. They come in singles. Let me try to start this over. Okay, this I found. <laughs> okay, let's start over. I am so unhappy with all the plastic that's going out into the world. And no, I'm not doing everything I can in my power to make it better, but where I see some place that I can try to help, I do. This is where I was going with. All the shampoo bottles, all the conditioner bottles, bottles after bottle after bottle after bottle, you're throwing them in your cart, you're throwing them away. I hate that. It's just, I mean, even if you put them in the recycling and rinse them out and stuff, it's still not that great. So what I was looking into were um, like the bars of soap, but bars of shampoo and conditioner. So I thought, okay, this one looked really good. I looked into it. It's absolutely amazing. It's made with amazing ingredients. Um, that gets top, top, top rankings everywhere. And so I found the shampoo that kind of matched what I would look for in a shampoo. And I found a conditioner. Okay, for the shampoo, I got Pink Alicious. It says solid shampoo for normal hair. And by using this bar of soap, you know, of sham bar of shampoo, I gotta learn to say that. By using this bar of shampoo on your hair, you are saving three plastic bottles, and that would be like 11 ounce bottles, or 350 mil, and you are saving 91 fluid ounces of water that they put in those bottles when they make the shampoo. So, I mean, it's absolutely wonderful. And you're not throwing away the plastic bottle afterwards. You just this is biodegradable. It's fantastic. So this was the shampoo I chose. And then I need I need a conditioner for sure. So then I got this one called the Guardian. And solid conditioner for normal to dry hair. So this is the one I got. And this one you save five bottles and 172 fluid ounces of water by using this one instead of buying five bottles of conditioner. And I'm thinking, okay. People do use more shampoo than conditioner usually, and the shampoo goes faster. And how smart is this? This one's smaller. Yeah. Perfect. Then what do you do? Are they just sitting in your shower? So then, <laughs> so then I saw that they have these little containers, and they have them in different colors. And it's perfect. It just sits right there in, on your shower. We have like a ledge. And I just take this off so it's great when my husband's in there showering and water's going everywhere. It's not making him wet. It does have holes in the bottom, which is wonderful. So there, here they are. This is my shampoo and my conditioner. So all cute, all great, saving the world, wonderful. How do they work? Okay, this is what I really wanted to get to because I don't want to show anything unless I personally tried it a lot and I know I love it. I recently did a video on my hair, like how I curl it or whatever. I had so many people telling me how incredibly shiny and healthy my hair looked. I had just used this. I really thought they would be smaller at this point after how many times I've used them, but they last and last and last, which is quite amazing, which you would think they would if they're worth the same amount of five bottles of and three bottles of shampoo and conditioner. So they stay like this for a long time. Now, the thing you're asking is, well, how does that work? I mean, you have to like rub it all over your head, you know, and I'm telling you, that was my biggest concern too. I'm thinking, well, this is not going to be easy. How does one even make this work? I kid you not. So simple. Okay, imagine my hair's down. I take, the, and my hair's down to here now. I mean, I got long hair now. Um, I take the shampoo and I, I kind of get it wet under the water and I just kind of take it and I kind of like, just kind of rub it through like, I'm thinking like four times on top and then I'll kind of bring it down and do one little, little swipe, just, just on top. And then I just take my hands and I wingle it up, <laughs> making up words here. And it it's lathery. I mean, it's not, it, I mean, it's like shampoo. It's lathery and wonderful and it just feels so moisturizing and it rinses out beautifully well. And so I think, well, wow, that's fantastic for all this hair. And it's only like maybe four little swipes, you know? Great. Then the conditioner, I'm like, well, how is this gonna really get in it? Same thing. I just take, you know, after I've rinsed all this out of my hair and I, you know, take it around, I go, I just take this and I, you know, it's wet and I just rub it down my, the lengths of my hair, make three times on top. And then I just bring all my hair back around and I just kind of do like this on the bottom just to get that, you know, more down there. And I just 
you know, use my fingers to get it through. And it's exactly like regular conditioner in that every single piece is coated. It's wonderful. So you get out of the shower and you fix your hair as usual. My hair has never been as shiny. It has never felt as, it doesn't squeak. It's not squeaky clean. You don't want that. It want, you want it to still have its oils in there. It just feels, it feels like it's the cleanest, shiniest, healthiest, smoothest hair ever. I'm a huge fan, as you can tell, and I love it. Okay, this isn't even made of plastic. It's made of bamboo and sugar cane, and it's 100% um, compostable. So, and it, yeah, the shampoo and conditioners come in different formulas in case your hair is dry, or if your hair is frizzy, if you want to smooth it out, if you want to add whatever. They're all different kinds of options for you. So this is my giveaway. I will be giving away a set. So you can choose your color of container. The winner will also be able to choose their formula of conditioner and of shampoo so they can get their own perfectly matched set. So whoever wins, I will contact them by email and I'll give them the options and they can choose which container, conditioner and shampoo they wish to receive. So that's how that's gonna work this time because I really want you guys to try it. I have definitely linked it down below. There's There are tons and tons and tons of products. Um, there are face washes, there are body scrubs, there are so many uh, lotions, like you just run it over your this bar, like over your body and then rub it in. It's like a lotion. So many things. And you're saving so much plastic. So you're not buying all those bottles. Anyway, I love the idea. I so far have loved this part of the product. I'm going to try the others. So yeah, very, very excited about all of that. Um, but take a look at the, at the products that are available down. I'll, you know, it's linked down below. Click on that, see what you can see. Take a look, they have gift sets and they're shaped like hearts. I mean, so, so cute. Anyway, make sure to enter the giveaway if you want to win a set of this. And I will link all the information down below. Just click on that link and follow the directions and you will be entered. I will be drawing the winner one week from today and that winner will be contacted via email. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are hanging in there. We have April now. It's going to be starting very soon and it's going to also be an interesting month. Let's stick together. Join me for doing strange things around my house and we will continue to just sort of weather this storm together, okay? So anyway, thanks so much.